Hello everyone, this is JPL, back for another reaction video. And today we'll be continuing my reactions to Generation 1 of My Little Pony. Today we'll be taking a look at the return of Tambalon. Now what's Tambalon? I don't know. It's either going to be two things. A villain or a place, like the Crystal Empire. So, um, yeah, let's just get into the thing. Return of Tambalon! Okay, Paradise, you're it this time. We hide and you go see. Very well, but remember, you unicorns, winking out is against the rules. Yes, One, we've two, seen three. how it happens in the last, last episode. There's shades. Yeah, shady. That's that's a gopher. Okay, so why is she called Paradise? No fair. Baby Ribbon winked out. Now wink back in this minute. Right, so there's Mama Ribbon. Wink all the way back in so we can get on with the game. She has such trouble winking back. Wow, that doesn't where do they go when they wink? Come on, little one. You can do it. She's okay, just a clone of her mother, but as again. a baby. Um, yeah, under the rock. That works. Well, see, you could have gone further away and not in the immediate line of sight. A paradise. Oh, come on. She's just a baby. Looks like she's having more trouble than usual. Maybe she winked back somewhere else. I'll see if I can find her. Maybe Stop she winked jiffy. back to Tambalon. Something's happened to But beg them. beg I the question. Where do they Paradise go when they wink? I wonder where they could have gone. I thought winking hey, was this instantaneous transmission to their location. Could they wink while they were now let's not jump to conclusions. in nets? I feel like the rules to winking just change every five minutes. No more winking out until we know what's going on. Is yeah. That clear? So that means no more drugs. Good thinking, Megan. Come on, no more winking let's out. What's wrong, Fizzy? I want That's to Fizzy with drunk. with the milkshakes. Wow. <laughs> wow. We have such bad luck. Once again, they they can only say shoobidoo. That's their greeting. That means I'm the only unicorn left. Let's get the other ponies. Well, got to form search parties and try to find the unicorn. No, that means you're an endangered species. There'll be poachers after you. Hunting for your horn to make glue. Or worse. It's getting dark. We're gonna have I don't know to what worse there is. State. But I could Just say. And now Megan's having a nightmare about the whole ordeal. Being traumatized and all. Oh! Oh! That's Grogar! <laughs> okay. Cool. It sounds familiar. Grogar. Something to do with the of okay, the now my interest has been piqued. Grogar. And we have a song. Well, there's Spike again. Only appearing in wordless roles, it seems. So, we got these donkey gremlin, uh, bovine gremlins, animal gremlins, okay. Makes sense, because Grogar's a goat. Dream message, huh? Well... Hmm. Very soon. 
Wow. So, G4 got the general voice of Grogar pretty well. Dark. Come up so fast before. Except when you saw Stratodons for the first time and Lord Tyrek. This isn't a storm. It's Dandelion. It's here. Now. We're being invaded. Once again, here's another story about some invading creature force wanting to capture the ponies. For what reason? Most likely for slavery or magical properties. I don't know. Michael Reeves sounds like a familiar name as the writer. I probably just read that name in older episodes, but I'm wondering if I saw that name in other properties. Okay, so he's definitely getting slaves, and he wants humans' fingers. And here's the flutter ponies. Okay. Oh, that was all done off screen. So. Oh, it's the Grumbles. Is he... He's not voiced by Danny DeVito, but... Okay. Everybody's coming back in this. Now we just need Scorpan to come back, too. Or Katrina. Or the pig. This is a big episode. Like, we got all these returning elements. You got a big villain. Wanting to conquer again. Oh. Well, this is unfortunate. I was just thinking that our bovine uh, animals were looking like the Grumbles. But the Grumbles are here now. Maybe one of us can sneak in where a lot of us can't. Good idea. Lofty and I Uh huh. Be careful, Megan. Okay. We will. Which begs the question, can any of them fly? Or do they have defense lasers? Nice. I bet that was limestone. Exciting, of course. I think it's more than just an antique heartthrob. It's Grogar's bell. Do you suppose it's the way out? Only one way I thought his bell was on his necklace. Megan, oh, I must look a fright. Do you have any idea what a dungeon can do to your hair? Not now, Arthur. Ah, so that must be the rarity of this group. Meanwhile, we're all standing in a circle. With light transmitting our position. So, has there been a song in this one yet? Man, those red eyes just really work for Grogar. So intimidating. No pupils or anything, just red. You know, you know, the flutter ponies have their utter flutter. They're quite formidable. Except when they can't be formidable for plot reasons. It looks like a pool. Oh, there's Grogar. 
he can create cages with his horns. And this time, secure the hole. That's bad. And that's the end. And this is the first episode where did not have a song. So I looked this up in between this video and apparently Michael Reeves is a very prolific writer having worked in many classic shows of the 80s like Transformers, Ninja Turtles, Star Wars droids. But surprisingly, he worked on a lot of Batman the Animated Series, like most of the show, including uh, Mask of the Phantasm. So that's why I remember his name, because I was just watching some episodes of that. Okay. I could totally see how Surprise is like the Pinkie Pie that we eventually get, being very chipper, jumping out of crates somehow and surprising. So, there better be some sort of weapon in there to warrant almost getting caught. Maybe some rope. So, is the plan to use that voice on other guards? <laughs> oh, splicing using vowels and letters that he didn't use at all. He never said Grogar. I don't think there was any other phrase that seemed like Grogar, so... Okay. Man, that goat can jump. Aha. Well. Let me pull a reverse Uno card on you by using my magic. Or by going after you one by one and charging. Classic villain mistake, and Spike just spoke. <laughs> really, Spike? You'll make mutton out of him? Are you gonna eat said mutton? No, it wasn't. I don't know what your plan was anyway. It kind of sucked, like most of your plans. But, you know, at least this plan wasn't... Uh, just go right up to him and tell them not to. So they're improving slowly. Looks like we got another song. And that's a pretty big prison if they're able to just... Go on different corridors and stairs, and that's a big cell, honestly. There's holes in it, too. Yeah, an escape ballad, very nice. Don't tell me. It's the giant bell that if wrong will defeat Grogar. Why did Grogar keep it? Or you could just make some good bacon. Midnight, huh? Just like Tyrek. And then I'll sit back and enjoy retirement.
Um, that's reused audio from another episode. Or maybe they just reused a line, but I've heard that line before. A few troggles are still loyal to Grogar. They told him of my plan to help you. Well, that's a shame. Of course, it was not. They would help you against him if you would give us a new home in Ponyland. Well, there's tons of unused land. Pick a spot. The Moochick, huh? This calls for a celebration. <laughs> I wonder if we'll see the Moochick as well. What about Scorpan? How's he doing these days? So, is Grogor also a kind of Sombra? Like, he's just playing the banish. No, I'm wrong. I'm all wrong. Don't listen to me. I'm so wrong. Sombra's was an enslaver. He got banished. I don't think that's how cracks work, but okay. Or even bubbles. It'd have to be very dense. The very likely possibility is that it's just going to fill in the crack and seal it. But we have like five minutes to end this episode, so it's going to work. That's a very techno sound for magic. <laughs> so, which one's for Get Me Not? Probably the flower one. But why was that one pony British? And she has a compass for a cutie mark. I, I need a whole cheat list of who the characters are. Because there's so many similar looking ponies. Like, even just between the two of those, it's really the cutie mark that makes the difference. And maybe the main color. But uh, it's hard to tell, honestly. Something that I think later generations just get better at is distinct looking characters. So Grogar's plan is just similar to T-Rex plan, except he's not turning ponies into dragons. He's just capturing the land. He also had darkness as well. Yeah, Grogar is a scary looking villain. Just, it does red eyes alone. Looks something. He's got like those big lighters, lasers. And Spike looks weird again. Nothing's new there. And there's a song too. We got a song in the midst of action. Pretty cool, actually. Could you imagine a song in G4 where the villain and the central characters just sung at each other as they were trying to do stuff? We never really got that. It was just good guy song and bad guy song. Not a song during the action. So this is pretty neat. Got the electric guitar going. That bell was not there before. It was in the middle of a room. It was also chained to the floor. And that's how you defeat Grogar. Again, why did he keep that bell? Look, here they come. They're not gonna make it. And then they made it. Very good. Very good. 
He was a cool villain for the shorter time that we had him. His plan was the same as every other villain, but he had red eyes and he was a blue goat. So that was the return of Tambalon, which um, is the very first appearance of Grogar in this generation or just ever. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, I was I was always looking forward to the Grogar episode because I you know it, it's always fun seeing um, I guess older villains come into G four and then watching the previous generations just to see what those villains are like. T Rex was a blast for sure, and then then we have Grogar in this one who looks menacing, has that cool laser, has. A very easy way to defeat him unfortunately with his bell so yeah um i mean this was a, a fine adventure i think it's it, it's pretty short because there was an episode that did not include a song for some reason so this is shorter than the rest but yeah no i mean it, it is l getting a little disappointing uh, and Maybe not disappointing, but just a little tedious how the plans of every single villain is always to capture the ponies. Uh, half of it's just for enslavement, the other half is for just because they want to land. It's, you know, it's, it's, I, I, I guess, you know, there's, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But, you know, we've had so many episodes where villains just want the land or they want slaves or both <laughs> um and this is one where grogar just wanted the land and wanted to banish the ponies you know they just need to learn to coexist there's plenty of land in ponyland there's so much unused land just pick a spot and you will be fine um but no yeah this was yeah, this was a good adventure, better than a lot of the recent ones that we've seen. So, yeah, it was fun. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.